GPT can tell bad jokes and write accidentally hilarious poems about your life, but it could also help you do your job better. The catch? You need to help. At its most basic level, OpenAI's GPT-3 predicts text based on an input called a prompt. But to get the best results, you need to write a clear prompt. Here are some tips for writing an effective GPT-3 prompt. Tip number one, offer context. Just like humans, AI does better with context. Think about exactly what you want the AI to generate and provide a prompt that's tailored specifically to that. Here's a basic prompt. It says write about productivity. The AI won't know what to do with it because it lacks context. Let's try something a bit more specific. Here's a better prompt. By including the type of content, a blog, as well as some details on what specifically to cover in the blog post, the bot will be a lot more helpful. Here's another example, this time with different types of details. Here's the basic prompt. Here's the better prompt. In the better prompt, we ask the AI to take on a specific role, aka dog trainer, and we offer specific context around the age and type of dog. We also, like in the previous example, tell them what type of content we want. The AI can change the writing style of its output too, so be sure to include context about that if it matters for your use case. This can be adapted to all sorts of business tasks as well. For example, I can write, write a professional but friendly email, or write a formal executive summary. Tip number two, include helpful information up front. Let's say you want to write a speaker's introduction for yourself. How is the AI supposed to know about you? It's not that smart. Yet. You can give GPT-3 the information it needs so it can reference that information directly. For example, you can copy your resume on LinkedIn and paste it at the top of your prompt, just like this. Another common case use is getting the AI to summarize an article for you. Here's an example of how you get OpenAI GPT-3 to do that effectively. Find an article. Copy and paste it into your GPT-3, and you'll have an article summary in seconds. Remember that GPT-3 only has access to things published prior to 2021. It also has no internet access. That means you shouldn't expect it to be up to date with recent events. You can't give it a URL to read from. While it might appear to work sometimes, it's actually just using the text within the URL itself, as well as the memory of what's typically on that domain, to generate a response. Tip number three. Give examples. Providing examples in the prompt can help the AI understand the type of response you're looking for. For example, if you want the AI to reply to a user's question in the chat-based format, you might want to include a previous example conversation between the user and the agent. You'll want to end your prompt with agent to indicate where you want the AI to start typing. Examples can also be helpful for math, coding, parsing, and anything else where the specifics matter a lot. Tip number four. Tell it the length of the response you want. It's helpful to provide a word count for the response so you don't get a 500 word answer when you were looking for maybe a sentence or vice versa. You might even use a range of acceptable lengths. For example, if you want a 500 word response, you could provide a prompt like, write a 500 to 750 word summary of this article. This gives the AI the flexibility to generate a response that's within the specified range. You can also use less precise terms like short or long. Here's the basic prompt. Here's a better prompt. Tip number five, define the expected formats. GPT-3 can output various code languages like Python and HTML as well as visual styles like charts and CSVs. Telling it the format of both your input and your desired output will help you get exactly what you need. Here's an example. It's easy to forget to define the input format in this case CSV, so make sure to double check that you've done that. Another example, perhaps you want to add the transcript of your latest podcast interview to your website, but need it converted to HTML. The AI is great at doing this, but you need to tell it exactly what you need. Tip number six, use some of these handy expressions. Sometimes it's just about finding the exact phrase that OpenAI will respond to. Here's a few phrases that folks have found work well with OpenAI to achieve certain outcomes. When I say, let's think step by step, it'll make the AI think logically and can be specifically helpful with math problems. When I say thinking backwards, this can help if the AI keeps arriving at inaccurate conclusions. If I say, in the style of X famous person, this will help match styles very well. And if I say, 
as a insert profession slash role, this helps frame the bot's knowledge so it knows what it knows and what it doesn't. Now that you know how to write an effective prompt, it's time to put that skill to use in your workflows. With Zapier OpenAI integrations, you can automate your prompts so they run whenever things happen in apps you use most. That way, you can do things like automatically draft email responses and more. If you want to read more about AI integration and chat GPT, you can check out our blog listed on the Zapier website. Click the link in the description.